thank you. I'm speaking from my own 35 years experience of teaching in a second level school, teaching both the old inter intercert and the junior cert. And with my teaching colleagues, we have embraced a myriad of changes down through the years. And some of those changes did include assessment. For example, some a long time ago, there was a junior cycle program in history, geography and social studies, with the projects corrected by the teachers, but there was cross moderation. And this was organized through the curriculum development unit. There were other projects that for environment and social studies. And again, the projects were corrected by the teachers, but an independent examiner. And of course, today, teachers do correct the Leaving Cert applied, and one third of the credits are from teachers. So teachers have embraced assessment, but they have genuine concerns over correcting their own students in the junior cert. And it's a basic one idea, and it is that the current system, it's fair, it's objective, and it is transparent. And the new proposal is undermining that. There will be pressure on teachers to alter marks in the same way that there are pressures on lecturers at third level to alter marks of students who are dissatisfied with the mark that they got. We know that there is competition between schools for numbers and we do know that there's always a type of league table being operated. There is a form of continuous assessment that, go, that goes on at the moment, and it is the fact that teachers give homework, they have class tests, they have Christmas tests, they have summer tests. They also are involved in giving their, their students projects, and teachers do value the skills that come about through project work. So all of that assessment, is, it is continuous assessment, the teachers keep the records, they have the marks and the grades to discuss with their students and at parent-teacher meetings. And I would like to see that included in some way, not 40%, I think that's far, far too much, but I do think all of that work should be recognised. Rote learning does have a place. I think it complements independent thinking and I taught both English and history and there was a place in that. My other major concern is on the depth of the learning experience and I do feel that the proposed statements of learning are undermining that. As somebody who taught history I have spoken about this with the Minister because I do think that there are grave issues regarding the, the, the teaching of history and geography but I also know from, teacher, from talking to friends who teach other subjects that they have concerns about that learning experience.